just popping in real quick to let you know that we're having our first merch giveaway there will be two winners one from this channel one from my beauty channel and the information will be down in the description if you would like to enter hi i'm nami <laughs> and welcome to mike and nami plus why are you smiling michael's smiling behind the camera i don't know why why are you smiling mm. you don't need to know why i'm smiling i'm just smiling this is a one month postpartum update after my c-section how am i feeling uh let's see i'm doing pretty good no i've been walking better it doesn't really hurt as much to walk um i don't feel pain when i cough or laugh now only when i sneeze in my scar in my incision um most of my scar is like kind of scabbed over now huh mm -hmm. there's not really any like fresh fresh areas breastfeeding hurts less now but I still have to put like my cream and my antibiotic cream um, to make sure that I don't get infected. They say that six weeks is the adequate enough time for the healing to take place. But I feel like it might take longer than six weeks from my experience. But during this recovery, I feel like it's taking less than six weeks. You've been craving ice. And so yes. you've been chewing on ice <gasps> and your teeth and gums have been hurting a lot. No! If my mom watches this, she's going to be very mad. Because she told me not to have cold things or hard things and ice is cold and hard. <laughs> your feet have been hurting, your joints have been hurting. So mm. you're trying to keep warm, relax. Yeah. And oh, I've been noticing like the past week and a half, I've been kind of like swelling. There's been a lot of water retention in mm. my body like all over my body so i asked on instagram what are ways that i can get rid of like swelling and some people said epsom salt so oh yeah so we got some epsom salt yeah i just have to ask my doctor today if i'm allowed to take baths because you're not allowed to take baths after you have a c-section for a few weeks yeah so now that it's been four weeks maybe i could take a bath now but they might tell me to wait until the whole six week mark mm -hmm. the full six week mark uh, postpartum depression postpartum depression so nami has had pretty bad postpartum depression for the first two pregnancies mm. uh, it's more of a physiological thing i find where there are triggers that would trigger it for example if she isn't if she feels misunderstood from family members um like combined unsupported. Yes. Combined with pain. Yes. And it's it, it, and it's your feeling of unsupported, even though you may have a lot of support. Yeah. If you just suddenly, for some reason, feel Like, if something alone, was said, and then, like, you misunderstand that. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you feel really alone and misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Combine that with uh, a lot of the pain, the breastfeeding pain, or other bodily pain. This pregnancy has or been like much fatigue. better, though. Yeah, fatigue. From the sleep. All of a sudden, it's this major depression. You feel alone, very sad, and then it comes out as anger. It's been interesting this time because you're catching it. You're knowing your symptoms. Yeah, you're know knowing your triggers, and you know what it is. Yeah. Because I think the first time, you, you didn't know, really understand yeah. it. The second time. The second time it didn't hit as hard. Uh -huh. The first time it was because I was home like alone all the time. Yes. And I was yeah. working. And the second time I was helping a lot at home. Yeah, and I was working. Yeah, and you were pumping a lot with Zeke. Yeah. Pumping wasn't easy because obviously you have to clean up after every pump. Mm. You have to sanitize and clean yeah. and dry it and that then pump again. And then, yeah, that's like an extra hour of work every day on top yeah. of everything. Yeah. yeah, this time I'm catching it. I've only had like two-ish episodes of postpartum depression yeah. this time. But like they only lasted for like two minutes each mm -hmm. i just like feel it and then i i catch it and then i would just tell you like yeah and it feels like the world is caving in right like no one yeah. understands this is terrible yeah but world it's weird because in. like you're not forcing Directful. yourself to feel like that it's yeah. like something's happening in your brain that yeah that yeah, causes yeah. those hormones yeah it's like a tidal wave sea yeah and you don't know how to swim it's like you're in a dream and then you're drowning and then, you're and drowning, then you're yeah. powerless and then you're falling behind or it's like yeah. you're running in a dream you're running away from someone and then but it's like out of nowhere yeah, and then you just can't run and you're being chased down. Yeah, I want to do a powerless. detailed video on postpartum depression. Yeah. Talking about all my experiences. Right, you should. Mm. Because it's huge. It really affected us. Mm. Get a lot of sunlight. You need sunlight. You need to go out. Yeah. Especially in the summer. I guess I'll show you my scar and my bump, which actually, my stomach shrunk quite a bit too, eh? Yep. How is it now? It looks like 
two months two months pregnant yep yeah so i think in a month or so it, it would probably be gone yeah possibly it takes time for this the skin to shrink too though so this is my belly um it didn't go in that much compared to last no two weeks ago but it did go in significantly compared to right after i had my surgery it looks kind of like a one month pregnancy two month pregnancy belly bust is 34 under bust is 30.5 my waist is 31 waist at the belly button is 33.5 and hip is 38 okay this is my belly um yeah it's kind of sticky outy what is this oh but yeah my belly button's still stretched out it's still dark but my incision looks a lot better than it did two weeks ago it's dry and i did see my doctor she said that um it looks pretty good she cut my stitch all the way straight like all the way down to my skin she cut off a little bit of my scab as well but it's looking pretty good my scab on this little bump it fell off so the flesh looks a little bit fresh there someone asked me like what does my belly feel like with no baby inside it kind of feels like just like a waterbed like kind of jiggly you can see it jiggle yeah you can see it's like looking scary but pretty good it's not as scary as two weeks ago when it was like kind of looking inflamed still scary but like i can kind of touch it now without like being too scared here feels okay but here feels like like numb still and it, it kind of tickles it's like a numbing tickly kind of itchy feeling all the way up to here and all the way kind of a little over halfway at my belly button but I still feel tender under my belly button as well. If I press down, it hurts. So that was my one month update for my C-section recovery. I did also film a baby one month update for Mina's health and growth. That was the first baby update that we did on her and we'll see you next time. Bye.